Well, hello. Welcome back to phase two of our experiment to see whether our home save seeds grow better, faster, or not at all, versus greenhouse started seeds. Never run this experiment exactly, so the results are gonna be surprising to you and to me. All right, let's get these in the ground. Seeds have been in the ground for a few days. What well, seems like only a few days. They haven't started coming up yet. So, it seems like these have a little head start. We'll see. All right, that's phase two of the cucumbers. We'll see what we get. Let's go ahead and get the spaghetti squash in. They trellis very nicely. Here's a prime example of mulch not being very deep at all. And it gets deeper as it went down. Obviously I pulled the mulch back so you didn't have to endure me doing that. But let's go ahead and get these in. Phase two of the spaghetti squash, if you recall, we planted the spaghetti squash seeds in the corner of the new mulch pile. It's been in a few days. They haven't started coming up yet. There you have it, phase two of our little experiment, which grows better or faster, seeds you plant that you saved from last year, or greenhouse growed plants. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna put a flag on each one. Not that I need to find them, but it's one thing we haven't talked about. You notice I haven't been watering anything. According to Ruth Stout and the deep mulch, you really don't have to water anything, but you gotta use your own judgment. If they start looking pathetic, you're gonna wanna water them. Now the butternuts, they're gonna run. They're gonna get really long runners. You're gonna wanna know where the roots are. All right, let's plant. So put a flag here, that way you're not wasting water if you have to water. Seeds there, plant here. We'll see which one does better in the end. And that's all she wrote for episode two. That's a good way to get hurt. Oh my goodness. Bugs. You know, when I started this garden, it was just gonna be a hobby. It was just gonna be something fun. I had no idea that the world was gonna change. Come garden with me. It's a beautiful way to self-isolate. Hey, you've gotta take care of yourself. You gotta look out for your family. We're hearing all kinds of things in the news. Some of it hopefully is true. I hope this thing really doesn't last very long. Either way, if you have a garden, you get some exercise, you get out in the sun, you self-isolate for right now, if this thing ends tomorrow, you're going to have some fresh vegetables. It's all good. Thanks for joining me. Share this with some friends. Hit the subscribe button, please. We'll see you later, and God bless you. But thanks for coming. If you want to see episode one, click that link right there. It'll take you right to Cantaloupe on a Trellis. Come on, let's plant.
Let's go plant garden.